9am Thursday morning, the sun is shining. Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift, very excited about what we can find today. This is what we do. We sell stuff on eBay. Majority of it is found in the thrift on videos like today. So go ahead and smash the like button if you get any value out of this one. And remember to subscribe as well if you are brand new to the channel. We are at a lifeline to kick off the day. Let's dive into it. We'll see what we can get. All right, guys, the first item that I've been able to find is this Cook Islands rugby jersey. And the comps were pretty good on eBay until I turned the jersey around and I saw all of these tears in the fabric and it was very dirty as well. So I did have to leave that one behind. Jumped into my natural habitat and started to have a look at the shoe section. I've been able to come away with these New Balance uh, pink and gray fresh foams. Uh, they will do with a bit of a clean, but uh, really good soles and only a $10 spend. So I quickly grabbed those ones. Came across to the clothing section and I found this postseason Toronto Blue Jays t-shirt. Only had a $4 tag in there and it was a majestic tag as well. So that was a really cool little grab there for just the $4. I believe it was a size large from memory. Also found this uh, Tattoo You Rolling Stones t-shirt with the passing of uh, one of the band members just recently. This could be, uh, I thought about this as being a pretty good grab, but um, just with the Rockwear sort of Thailand style tag on that one uh, and a $9 price point, I actually left that one behind. Let me know if you would have picked that one up yourself. Found the All Blacks uh, jersey as well, Adidas size large. This one is a genuine item. And with an $8 price tag, I really do think I can push upwards of maybe $40. Once I give it a bit of a clean, there were no tears in it. So I definitely grabbed that one as well. Anything sporting gear, guys, it sells well. Also found these shorts. Now, I don't typically buy these plain shorts anymore, but this one was a straight tapered fit, 32 waist, brand new with tags. So I couldn't say no to that for $6. And also found the boyfriend skinny fit jeans, Levi Strauss. You can always rely on the Levi Strauss brand. So I did pick that one up. Now guys, you know how much I've got a problem with the plush. Well, here I am looking at the plush toys. I found the R2-D2 Star Wars plush toy with just a $3 price tag. Guys, I couldn't help myself. I had to buy that one as well. I did grab a couple of other things as well. Um, there was this scarf, and uh, this is a 2011. I've bought these before, these 2011 inaugural year uh, Gold Coast Suns AFL scarves. I've sold them previously around about the $30 price point. Um, I did pay $5 for that, which I think is horrendous in a thrift to be paying $5 for a scarf, but I know that it turns into 30. It was the first ever year that they were in the AFL. The other one as well was this brand new with tags. It's got a recommended retail of $150. The brand I've never heard of though, Dry Copper. There it is there. So I've picked this one up. This is a lady size 12 hooded uh, jacket, denim jacket. Um, like I said, being brand new with tag, I only paid the five bucks for that one as well. So all in all, guys, seven items purchased. Uh, not too bad of a start to the day. Let's keep moving on. A second op shop is coming up. Any Vicar of Dibley fans out there? Because I now have the complete collection on DVD. There were five discs in this one. It only cost me the $5 and there were some $35 comps on eBay in pre-owned condition. So that was a very good grab. This is where the real money lied though. I've got a number of these VHS to DVD combo machines. Now these can actually be worth quite a lot of money. This is the Tevian 605. Now I've only paid the $45 there, comps on eBay around $225. I don't have the remote though with this one here. Uh, the next one here was this Panasonic. Um, this isn't a rewritable, this is literally just a VHS player, but they do go on to sell for some great money there guys. $35 comps on eBay for about $140 on average. It did come with the remote though, and that is also where you get a bit more value. So two very good machines right there. The NEC VN211, I didn't grab this for $25, but I probably should have with some comps around 120 bucks. I will say that all of these machines have been tested as well, which gave me confidence to buy. I have bought a number of electronics from this guy before in this thrift store, so I can rely on these items working, which is obviously a big plus. Also found some VHS tapes as well. These were in the glass cabinet and they were comping out pretty heavily on eBay. However, there were some pretty decent price points on them as well, which in the end just kept me away. That Halloween 4 goes for about 40 bucks. There is still money in the VHS. These are Nike Tempo footy boots for $10. I had to grab them as well. I've sold similar years. These are a 2008. I've sold them in the past for about $180 internationally. So you just never know. I still need to do my research. Oh, one of the great thrift runs there, guys. Uh, I'm estimating about $250 conservatively in profit there. If you could be finding these VHS players, all the rewritables, DVD to VHS, 
you're going to go on and make some good money. And uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. The Tiempos as well, uh, Vicar of Dibley DVD. But guys, those VHSs are really not ones to pass up on when you're in the thrift. Do look out for them. Uh, there is always some great money to be made. So hopefully 250 bucks there. Pretty good run for Opshop Run number two. Let's see if we can top it in Opshop Run number three. And just like that, we are in op shop run number three, guys. I've been able to find these ASICS GT2000 women's running shoes. $20 from all reports. These are looking like a pretty decent pair of shoes. The soles, not too bad there, but then I saw a massive hole and I had to run away from them pretty quickly. Also came across a number of clothing items. We've got the Dragon Ball Z singlet, the orange color, size large. It was a half price uh, store today, guys. So that was actually only $1.50. I had to get my hands on that one. I know a few Dragon Ball Z fans out there that might like that one. Really good brand in the boxing world guys punch if you can find this brand absolutely grab it if you can find the boxing gloves especially i've sold a number of those these are only two dollars and i reckon i can push about 35 bucks for them this was a genuine vintage t-shirt and let me know in the comments below if you've heard of the brand i've only paid the two dollars for it fresh produce made in usa it had a 1993 uh label there right there you probably can't see it but it says 1993 so I was absolutely wrapped to pick that one up as well. A couple of really cool pieces of clothing in this thrift store for only a half price purchase. Um, also found some DVDs as well in another thrift store. These are the Lord of the Rings. Now they're a special edition DVD. So I'm always looking for the special editions whenever I'm doing my DVD hunting and any unique cases like this one. Now, $6 a piece, $18 overall. I should be able to sell it for about 60 bucks. Op Shop 3, all wrapped up, guys. Uh, those DVDs should do pretty well for me. I was happy to find those. And the three items of clothing, uh, $5.50 in the half price store. So, yeah, look, it's been a pretty good run so far today. Been able to get some great items. We do have one more to go. And hopefully, we can top those VHS players. Um, but they were a pretty good grab. So, we'll see if we can do that. It might be a tough get. But let's get into it. Last Op Shop run of the day. We'll see what we can do. I'll see you in there. Now, guys, you don't often see me passing on shoes, but, well, let me explain. These first ones are the Adidas Hard Courts, $25, a very good pair of shoes in excellent condition. But my limit when it comes to buying shoes is probably $15. These ASICs weren't going to cut the bill at $18 because have a look at the soles on those. They were horrendous. So I did leave those ones behind. But uh, another pair of ASICs as well. These are the GT2000s. A very, very good pair of shoes. If the soles are good at $18, I will go ahead and buy them. But unfortunately, the soles were pretty bad as well. Uh, these New Balance shoes, they were $18. And for that reason, I did pass. But I don't know. They were actually a pretty decent pair of shoes. No tears. The soles were in pretty good condition as well. Maybe I should have grabbed those. These were the Adidas Tubular. Uh, shoes as well. Comp, very, very good if they're in new condition. Um, could be about a $250 odd shoe, but uh, for $15, I could have probably grabbed that one again, but I did pass. These ones I did grab, the Ultra Boosts. These are the Oreo colorway. Uh, oh, look, I sell a lot of Ultra Boosts for some very good money. So for $15, I was very happy to pick these ones up. The Laceless, something different for me. And then I bought these based on the condition. Have a look at the condition of these compared to the condition of the rest of the shoes that I've previously shown you. These were very, very good shoes, a pair of women's shoes for $15. I do uh, like the New Balance brand, so I was very happy to pick those ones up as well. So a number of shoes passed on there, guys, but uh, I dove into the DVDs as well. Felicity, if you can find this series, my goodness, you'll make some money on eBay. Even just season one comps for $35 in pre-owned condition. So yet another good grab there out of the DVDs, another region four. Rosemary and Time as well. This one was $9. It was comping for $30 on eBay. And if you do the maths, selling it for $30, buying it for $9, you're not actually going to leave yourself much profit after you've posted the item. So therefore, I put that one back on the shelf. Jumped into another thrift store here and I found these Timberland Defenders, a very nice pair of shoes in excellent condition. However, it was $25 and that is just unfortunately too steep. So I did pass on those ones. Still a very good pair of shoes. And then these board shorts were heading into a uh, summertime here in Australia, a 34 waist, a $5 price tag. And I wasn't going to be passing up on those. So I nicked them. The only other one that I didn't talk about was these Ralph Lauren jeans. Um, these are in excellent condition. They had the old school button fly as well, which is uh, what I tend to look for when I'm buying my jeans. So that was cool. 36 waist, a 34 length. A lot of people ask me around my size of jeans that I try to source. Um, really, there's nothing too crazy. It's just maybe a 32 through to a size 40. Um, and, and I'll be happy to pick it up based on size. So uh, they were only $6. Should be able to push them for about 40 bucks as well. Good little finish there with a couple of clothing items, the board shorts, as well as the shoes and the DVDs. Uh, massive episode, guys. I appreciate you being here. It's been a fun one. I'm going to go back and list all these items up. I'll leave you out with another trip to the thrift video right here to keep that ball rolling. 
Thank you very much for being here. Can't thank you enough. We'll see you in the next vid.